yo yo we are back in after effects and in today's video i'm gonna show you how to create this seamless zoom transition it like zooms into his glasses or if you don't have your subject wearing glasses or something like that you can actually also like zoom through his eyes or anything that makes sense so anyways i have these two clips into my composition that i'm gonna transition on so first i'll start by dragging this clip over to here something like there so it's like overlays into another clip if if i hide this you can see there's my another clip peeking through and that's exactly what we want the more longer the overlap the smoother the transition will be so if you have a long clip i really so i really suggest you to like overlap much as you can so i'm gonna do like this so now we will start rotoscoping the part of his glasses so selecting my clip i will check my rotobrush tool or uh, rotobrush tool and start rotoscoping out the part of his glass which is this if you're doing with eye it can be a little harder but you can work it out as you can see the roto brush 3 is so good that it did it in first try i don't have to like adjust anything so after your roto is done before freezing it go over to your roto brush effects panel and you will see an option called invert foreground and background just check that so it inverted and we'll have a hollow space in his glasses so then just freeze it after freezing it you can see another clip is picking through that's exactly what we want so now we're gonna create the camera and start adding that zoom so in your comp you can just right click on a blank space and create a new camera create a simple camera right there and turn on 3d for both of your layer so it's a 3d layer as you can see and for the second layer the clip we are transitioning on p to bring up the position and push back the last value as you can see it will like scale down your clip that's completely fine that's what we exactly want and i'm really sorry if i sound a bit weird i'm having a bit of health issues right now so my voice has changed a bit so please ignore that but anyways after you do it your clip should be like this now we'll start animating it so go over to the first frame of your camera and selecting your camera hit p to bring up the position and just the stopwatch in it to the end of your first clip which is this as you can see and you can use this tool right here and just scale it in like this so it scales into another clip as you can see like that so after that you will have this zoom transition already also if you want to make it more smoother you can select your second clip which is peeking through our glasses and scale it down and hit the stopwatch in it also bring up the position and also i'm gonna bring up the rotation the g rotation and hit the stopwatch in that too and i'm gonna put it somewhere in his glasses so his face is also visible and also rotated it's the same rotation as the camera in our first scene after that your clips end go over to here and just scale it up uh, something around this and also i'm gonna like rotate it as well so it's on his default value like that and scale it up more so now we'll play with the graphs to make it more smooth so start by selecting all the keyframes on your camera and just i'm gonna extend the animation a bit like that something like that not too much like that and after that hit f9 in the keyboard to easy it and select those go into graph and i'm gonna pop into speed graph and just make a simple graph like this so after that little thing you can see our animation looks really smooth it looks really buttery smooth as you can see that's what we exactly want so then we're gonna do the same thing with our second clip position scale and rotation so f9 to easy is those go into graph and make sure you are in speed graph and make a graph something like this too so i made a graph like this after that also you have to make sure your motion blur is also turned on and we'll have our transition looking something like this that looks pretty smooth right there now we're gonna add some more sauce to make it more smoother so one thing i like to do is just duplicate my first click and delete the rotoscope from my bottom layer and after that hit t to bring up the opacity and from 100 you can just keyframe it to zero as it goes so it like smoothly transitioning and i'm also like noticing some clipping in the edges to remove that add like a motion tile into your second clip a motion tile set it to 200 by 200 and hit mirror edges there's also some clipping in my main layer so i'm gonna just copy this motion tile as well and put it in both of these after that you will have your smooth transition almost done but there's two more things that i like to do with it so first i'm gonna make an adjustment layer real quick and in here i'm gonna add an optic compensation and 
and hit the stopwatch in the field of view FOV and just reverse it and put the first keyframe somewhere around the beginning something like that and go over to where it transitions and you can just bring up the amount so it like create this crazy lens effect which i really like so like that and moving into another clip you can just reset it and after that it looks super smooth as well you can just select those keyframe and like f9 to easy ease them as well and the last sauce that i like to add is a sake so for the sake i'm going to use my camera sake pack if you don't already know i have a camera sake pack which allows you to add those crazy intense sakes and also help you to add some energy into your footage so i'll leave Leave this in the description also in my site i have a crazy bundle with my 3d title pack and my sake pack in that bundle you are really getting like two packs in one so it's on a great offer you can check it out if you want so anyways let's just create another adjustment layer then go over to my animation preset go into user preset go over to sake pack and my clip is sd for now so i'm gonna use the sd one and use the best one from it i really love the best one in everything and one thing i also like to do is trim it till here not like a gradual sake you know so it like impacts in there you can also like lower down the amount if you want as well and after adding the sake you can see the energy at the ads it also helps it to make it more blend in so yeah after that my result looks something like this so that's it for today's video guys if you like this video please consider hitting the like button and i'm also uploading daily on july so you can subscribe to my channel to stay locked in with all the tutorial this month we're dropping a lot of sauce daily so yeah, see ya in next video. Peace.